Hi, I'm Ted. Come photograph with me. Today we're going to look at vibrations on the surface of water. The setup is pretty simple. What we have here is an oscillator, which is just a motor with an off-axis weight. It oscillates back and forth and it will cause this plastic uh, champagne glass to start to vibrate. I can control how fast this motor vibrates by changing the power supply. So if I have it at three and a half volts, it's going to start to oscillate. And so here, this the stem of this glass is shaking back and forth and it causes the surface to create standing waves. So at this point, all I have to do is change the voltage to this motor and I will end up with getting different patterns. And the patterns are, are pretty cool that way. So here I'm at five, 3.5 volts and I can bring it up and get some different patterns. And I'll take some pictures of these and drop them right into the video. Now, the important thing to realize here is that you're going to get different pictures in relation to the shutter speed because all these patterns are in relation to how fast the shutter's going. They're, most of them are all average. The lighting is fairly straightforward. It uses a NeoPixel ring to create uh, different colored lights and they're point sources. So they have to be pretty close to the axis of the camera lens as it points down. By the way, sometimes these vibrating patterns are called somatics uh, and they have absolutely no healing properties whatsoever. It's just a pretty pattern. So you want the lights to be on axis. So here I'm gonna bring that lighting ring up to the camera and I wanna get it as close to the camera as possible. And I'm also going to adjust it back and forth. And the lights will reflect off the surface to make those, those pretty reflections. And this is programmed to go through different colors. And when I like the color, I can hit a button and stop the, the colors in some arrangement that I like. So here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, take some pictures. I'm at 1 60th of a second right now. And that becomes the pattern that I see at 1 60th of a second. Now by changing my shutter speed to say 1 40th, I'm going to allow it to get more light to be reflected around the surface. And it'll average that pattern together. Here's another 1 25th. I do get a lot more light in, so I'm gonna bring it down a couple stops. Once again, that looks pretty good. And that's the average here. I'm gonna bring it down to uh, one tenth of a second. There's one tenth of a second. And a lot of people think I'm changing the frequency or something. No, I am just averaging the picture. So it's the same vibration pattern, but we're just looking at different oscillations averaged across the surface. By the way, the standing wave patterns are, are really cool in all of physics, and it's something you should check out for sure. One tenth of a second works quite well with this particular uh, pattern. I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration of vibrations on the surfaces of water. You can really end up with some cool patterns doing this, and I hope you go out and take some cool pictures yourself.